Alright guys, it's been a while, it's been a while, but welcome to another video. So, uh, before we start, I uh, just want to say there's no disrespect to anybody. Uh, this is just a reply video, something I used to do back in the day. Uh, a lot of YouTube used to do this back in the day, a lot of, especially back in the Skype board days. Somebody make a video, somebody make a reply. And then you just talk about uh, what you agree, what you don't agree with that person's point. Uh, so what we're going to do is call, do a reaction slash reply to the fall of Weapon World podcast. Uh, you go to New Yokio. Um, I put his uh, link to the original video. And... He made some good points, and you could tell that he did his research. He didn't just put uh, his feelings in regards to how he feel about certain numbers that left the podcast. Uh, he gave some respect to certain people that was in the podcast. Gave some criticism for some of the people and that came on the podcast or that left the podcast. And it was a lot of good points, and some points I didn't necessarily agree with 100%. So that's why I'm making this video. Uh, it's no disrespect to anybody. Um, I still watch Weapon World Podcast. Uh, a lot of people that watch like shows like PSP or AGS, they like to say, oh, I, I never rock with Weapon World Podcast because a certain member is not on that podcast or certain members are beefing and I'm learning a while ago that you can't put your personal you can't, you can't choose sides because at the end of the day those guys have to be man enough to work out those problems themselves and you never know they might end up being cool again and then you're stuck on the outside trying to uh, be cool again and at that point you're, you're being fake so it's best to just let grown men deal it out, duke it out, whatever. And then you may you just sit on the outside, you give your opinion, and then just let it go. And if they have beef, that's their beef. And if they, uh, they might tell you, like, oh, don't rock with these people no more. And then they're, they're pretty much being lame and, and fake themselves because you don't tell somebody who they can and cannot talk to. You just too grown for that. But without further ado, uh, we're gonna go ahead and get into this. Uh, the fall of what World Podcast from New Yokio, Tony, guys that most people know him by. Uh, I'm also Tony, Tony Play Games, by the way, but still, let's go ahead and get this going. Hey man, it be your own niggas. One, two, uh, one, two. So I just wanted to uh, say one thing. <laughs> I'm guessing these are part of his uh, stuff. And I noticed that he had, actually had a dislike on one of the videos. I wonder what that was about. I'm going to have to go check that out. One, two. All right, there. What will podcast 280. I'm about to go check that out and see why you dislike that video. But 16 minutes. Alright, so for this video, I did actually talk to a couple people. I didn't want to just have it like. So he did talk to points. some people, so just nice. 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 You know, don't bring up something. And so I talked to a couple people and actually did get some good points. So I'm talking people from the Discord that have been around for a minute. Some people who consider themselves Weapon World experts, you know. Niggas that this really happened too. Niggas will be like, yo, episode 57 at 1 minute and 27 seconds. It's like, how did you remember this? So those are the type of sources I got, you know. My source is actually credible, unlike one ton. Even though one ton is a source. But we're going to get into the video anyway. Now, if I take that six hour road trip, niggas right. been hitting me up. Uh, on that what road trip. Times leaving. If I take yeah. that road trip, what you going to say, nigga? Hey, that's classic too by Jack Lee. Take that road trip. So 
last week. Okay, so chronologically, this video might be a bit out of order, but I'm gonna just go how how I feel fit, right? So let's start off with Hardy. Now, for this part, you might need to, you know, I don't know, you might need to ignore a couple videos on the channel, but still, I ain't gonna discredit what Hardy brought to Weapon World, especially since I feel like it needs to be brought back. Like, it's one of the main reasons Weapon Wheel ain't what it used to be and why it ain't the same, right? When Hardy left, not only did he leave, but he left everyone else unchecked. So Bond's on there just telling these weak ass stories, weak ass jokes, running them back. Like, nigga, like, when Hardy was there, it wasn't gonna be sliding. Like, when Jimmy was telling these stories, like, it wasn't gonna slide, right? Alright, so I want This is one of my biggest issues with Weapon World Podcast is the Bond tales. I mean, sometimes it's funny and sometimes you. You can deal with it. Like, you can tell some of the podcast memories we've been like, wow, man, can we just move on? And BG says it a lot of times when he's uh, like, yeah, we're not going to be here. When, you can tell when Bun is not there. We're like, yeah, we're not going to be here for like three, four hours of Bun just going on a rant. Because he goes on random rants. Like, and he'd be, we'd be in the middle of a topic and he just brings up stuff like uh, sport topics or stuff like uh, something that's happening on Twitter or something that's happening, you know, with uh, whatever girl he's with. Just random stuff, and a lot of times it takes away from the topic that, that's going on. Another thing, Hard Hate used to challenge people. If he, if he smelled BS, he would call it out. And he wouldn't just say, just let it rock. He would, he would call it out. Uh, Actually, your gamer score, actually your um, your PSN ID, all of that, because he's gonna fact check you. Yeah, he's very he was very big on that. And Bun used to be like that too. I don't know what happened, um, why he's changed. I know um, it had somebody on there. Somebody, from, I know they was from Canada, and I think. After that episode, when they started joking about him taking the guy and dropping off, like, to his car and everything, everything after that, it was pretty much, like, Bun just letting stuff ride. Like, Bun used to be that person uh, that would fact-check everybody. I mean, everybody knows about the Next Gen 720 thing, the, what is it, $4,000 PC, $10,000 and Bun made multiple, multiple, multiple videos about that. Uh, there's countless other videos that he he made back in the day. So I don't know why Bun just lets things ride now. I don't know if it's because of the money that he gets now. So he just want the guests to come on there and not feel like they're being attacked. I don't know. But that is something I've, I've noticed once Hard Eight left a lot. Of, a lot of people come on there and they just uh, say whatever they want want to say on the podcast. Uh, I mean, BG sometimes calls it out, but uh, you would expect Bond out of all people to say something because that's I mean that's what he built his channel on is is on that type of stuff. But all right. And especially like especially the guests like. If you want to go on Weapon World, you can go on there and say anything. Niggas not going to say nothing. You can be like, Very you know, true. Like grandma watching on x file Niggas just going to let it slide. Like, you can do whatever you want. Say whatever you want. Niggas not going to fact check you. Niggas not going to pull. Like, n like, none of this, right? So, when Hard Eight left, he took some of the viewership, and he also left niggas unchecked. So, that's like a main part of the Weapon World fall off, I think, right? So, speaking of the guests, though... I was on this podcast a couple of weeks ago called the Weapon Wheel Podcast. And about 40 minutes into it, I was just like, um, I can't do this anymore. Like, I cannot be on this podcast anymore. We're not talking about anything real. So another point of Weapon Wheel falling off is... No, uh, David Chaffee was... I don't, I don't understand his problem. I guess he wanted to be treated like a celebrity when he went on Weapon Wheel Podcast. And they gave him the respect. They, they didn't say anything outrageous. But anybody that goes against David uh, Jaffe and you don't agree with all his uh, his points, he doesn't want to really talk to you. He, he just going to be like, well, I I'm, I develop uh, games and I know what I'm talking about. Um, 
he always goes against younger gamers. Um, I always see him, him talk about them like all the, or um, not, not gamers in particular, but uh, like game designers and uh, people that make games. Like he always goes against those guys. Like oh, they don't know this type of stuff. Uh, back in my day, like just the old man jumbo, mumbo jumbo that. Yeah, even I sometimes do like with social media and everything. I mean, he had a, um, I don't know if it was a Q and A or was it an interview where he didn't, he couldn't even figure out how to use the software he had on his, his PC. So the, but the fact that he was like angry that he went on Web for Web podcast when they gave him the respect that they, that I think he, I mean, he deserved. I mean, they didn't say anything disrespectful. They were going on topic. It's just that the topics that the the answers that he was looking for, they wasn't budging. They was going to give their opinion and let them know how they felt, and rightfully so. But he he felt like a different way that he should have been treated differently, which he should now. This nigga beat you to start inviting anybody like hey they do invite a lot of people if you are that racist, if you don't be no game like they don't like, fact check the these people the though fucking, i don't know 10 kind of string plugged into like i don't know niggas just anybody was allowed on weapon world like anybody's still allowed you ain't gotta have no audience no credibility you ain't gotta be games you ain't gotta be entertaining if you just be like pull up it's like god damn nigga you ain't gonna have some kind of quality control over who comes on the show, like, and the guest niggas like, he don't be inviting them back, like, this shit <laughs> just a mess when it comes to guests, like, niggas got Crap Gamer on there, Mooch, like, anybody make an appearance. Yeah, the Crap Gamer and Mooch thing, I didn't, I did not understand. Mooch, maybe, I can understand, because, uh, think he, uh, Post some gameplay or whatever, and but crap literally got called lying and posted a uh, gameplay that he did not he stole from somebody else and games he did not beat. And anybody for me that if you have to hide your gamer tag or your uh, your PSN, your trophies and everything, automatically I don't trust you because everything should be public. Like, you should not be, if, if you're going to be talking about games, then you should have it public where people can fact check you. Now, if you're in the industry, like you're like, a, or some insider or a game developer, and then I can understand that because you need to, you can't show people games that you're playing or testing out. So I understand that. But people that like, like people that review games, people that have, talk about games and give their opinions about games, there's no excuse for you to hide that stuff. I'm just, I'm sorry, it's not. And it's not like they being added to, like, be questioned or cooked or fact-checked. Like, nah, niggas inviting crap game on and treating them with the utmost respect. That's like, very true. And then y'all talking games with them, but y'all know he don't be or play no games. Like, what? Y'all just having these, like, gaming conversations with Mooch and crap game and niggas that it's been proven and exposed they don't beat games they don't play no games like huh like what and that's like part of what made weapon world weapon world like y'all was cooking these niggas y'all was yeah they was about, they like, i missed the old days they cook everybody especially with these niggas on the show like nah man this ain't it this ain't it G. especially jack uh, jack uh, definitely yes, I met that. Biggie, and a lot of people told me that i reminded them of biggie Little Kim told me that I reminded her of Biggie, and I do know Little C's. I actually know him. I hate to have to be Uncle Jimmy, but shit, it is what it is. But uh, now, Jimmy was added a couple episodes into Weapon Wheel. Like, he wasn't there from the start. And when he was added, he used to say anything. He was, I don't remember what it was, but it was something like Uncharted 3 looking worse and like PS2 games and shit. He was saying that type of shit. And when Hardy was there, Hardy would check him. But. What ended up happening was niggas be like, yo, Jimmy, you want some you want some other shit. Like, what are you talking about? And then, so he wouldn't speak, right? And then niggas said he wouldn't speak. And then he got all, like, stroppy and he got an attitude. Like, oh, you, you think I speak? Watch this. And then didn't speak, which doesn't make <laughs> sense. But that's how he chose to move. 
and like, I don't know, he just started getting roasted because he was either saying some dumb shit, he wasn't articulating himself well, or he was just saying some straight up misinformation, right? So, he just showed up for the check, and then niggas started t- saying, yo, you only showing up for the check, and then this led to like, the Weapon World Patreon, like, niggas ain't subscribing to that, which meant... Jack didn't give a fuck about this shit no more. Like, you can tell at a point, like, when the Weapon World Patreon wasn't getting revamped and niggas weren't subscribed to it, this nigga Jack was not talking either. This nigga was not saying anything. Like, he kind of back now. So, some of this is where I, I disagree with. I, I don't think Jimmy was there only to collect a check, by, per se. Yeah, it was, you would show up. Cause you only, yeah, you want to get paid, but I don't think that was his only reason. I think that he just got tired. Of, he saw things changing. When later in the video, that you're gonna talk about um, uh, one of the, the members coming on board, and you, you could tell that uh, as this certain person came on, that he started his feeling a type of way because you're bringing other people on, like as permanent members. Uh, and, and yeah, it's not his podcast, but you're being all other numbers, uh, things being put in a chat and comments being deleted. Uh, you, like you can't be, you can say certain things about certain numbers, but if you say anything about this one particular number, then your comments getting deleted and then you're getting blocked, and it just a whole lot of. I mean, Weapon Wheel was always about having fun. That's why I, I, I liked it so much because your your uh, people wasn't real sensitive about anything. You joke, you come in, you joke around, and then you move on with your day. You go join uh, After Dark. And and another thing, After Dark, uh, I really feel like it should be live. I understand, like, you have your, uh, I forgot the, whoever those guys were that, that trolls and people want to share the link but that's just comes with the territory because people still can go on patreon download the, the uh, audio and share it to other people if they want to so not having it live where people can interact and if Vaughn goes on his Vaughn tail people can call him out for it because there's been a couple times where I'm in there and him and Mocha were going at it or some other people are saying something, and then you not able to like fact check them at the moment. Like, hey man, that, that that's wrong. Or, hey man, can we talk about like this other type of work? Can we ask questions? Because uh, that's one thing I hate to compare PSP and what we're podcast, but they kind of kind of like one A one one B. I'm be honest because. That the, the members they have are similar, and of course there is always Jack Move who's on both, but they very similar in a lot of lot of uh, things that they play, a lot of topics that they talk about. So I always categorize those two as you know one A and one B. So with them, you know, you have your uh, your PSP, which is on a different day from your actual your uh, actual podcast, you have your, their, um, every, and it's every two weeks, not every week, like, Weapon One Podcast, so, they get to do theirs, like, and it's only one dollar, and you get the the entertainment, entertainment is there, because each person participates, they give their opinions, and they, you could tell they're not burnt out. Whereas working with podcasts, you sometimes have a three hour show. I mean, a couple times it was four hours. And then you're doing a, a two hour after dark. Man, that's that's a lot of hours. And you get burnt out. Um, and then sometimes you, you wait to the last minute to ask what questions for the uh, after dark. So. Maybe it should be changed to like every other week, or maybe I know they don't want to do a different day as because you know people have real life things going on, so maybe that's that's another thing. But 
at the end of the day, uh, it is getting a lot better. Yeah, a lot, a lot more people. I mean, really, I think he's going to say in his video, VG and Jack Moke are pretty much carrying the After Dark at this moment. Um, they've gone away from the uh, relationship, which I don't understand why Bond's even talking about that because he's never been married or have kids. So why even? That's, that's why I don't understand why you listen to people who's never had that ex experience before. And they only experience being single or having having like short relationships. So I don't understand why you even listen to type, those type of people uh, like that. Whereas he likes to bring up Kevin Samuels, where he's not even the same boy as Kevin Samuels because Kevin Samuels has been married, he's been a baby, he's been a, a stepdad, he's been, he has a kid. So you can't put yourself in that same situation. And he likes to bring that up all the time. He's like, oh, I'm a high value man and this is what I want in a woman. But the women that you, you're trying to get are pretty much white women. And they, of course, they're going to be different from black women. So the social arguments about, around black women is very, you can tell because his conversations are a lot different from when there's like any white uh, woman or that's that's on there. So, yeah, it, that after dark, um, it is getting better. It will rebound. Um, Matter of fact, I'm a. I, I had stopped. Actually, I stopped Patreon. I think a month ago because a certain person on there, I was just like I couldn't deal with all of this relationship talk. But it's done better. I'm going to be uh, joining back Patreon uh, for After Dark. But I do wish it was live. And I would I've supported from day one. I always su I still support those guys. I really enjoy it, but yeah, should be live. Just cause keep uh, saying that. He adds to the show, makes it entertaining again. Like that show right now is just BG and Jack, straight up. Like kids yeah, movie, like he said, no just like, BG. It's, it's kids movie, not it's barely. Over barely. Over but Jimmy showing up just for a check, spreading misinformation. Which I I don't I, mean, I don't believe that. Hard it was actually Wilson, but then niggas ain't fact checking. And after that, it just went all downhill. So, on to the next point. Oh, but shut the fuck up. First of all, you first of all, you shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. How about that? Another point where Weapon World kind of fell off is when they added Mocha. Now, the thing with Mocha is, obviously, I got a little video on the channel. But, that was the only place she came with me sideways. I went and made the video, but then Mocha added. So, before he gets to his points, I'm going to tread lightly. Yeah, I know this is... Uh, I don't know what they call it, but trying to be, I don't know the word to say, but not try to be overly, like, um, you know, critical about it. But there's a thing, there, you could tell the energy changes when she was on. I know she's not on there because she has to work on Sundays now. But you could tell between her being on there and when Red Infamy is on there. Um, Red Infamy can take the joke, she can teach the punchline. Same thing with like Ashley Luca. Uh, she, she's been on and she, she has her own podcast. And I mean, there's other uh, women that I watch um, and you can tell they can take jokes and they don't get personal. They don't get a overly emotional and they I mean they throw jabs back at you and you're just like hey you you take one I take one but the thing is they also have this uh, that personality where it's somebody that you 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 want to have a conversation with whereas with Mocha it's like well if I say this I have to tread lightly if I say this she's gonna get pissed off start getting personal, uh, start, um, and it just, her attitude is, I don't think it's meant for podcasts, it's like, um, I think she can stream, I think that would be her thing, her, I mean, I, I watch some of her show, her uh, streams on Twitch, 
I mean, that I be think that would be something that she was good at. But as far as podcasts, I just don't think that is her calling, per se. Uh, she's, um, she's, I don't know if it's her personally telling BG to delete comments or BG just took it upon himself to delete comments when people write jokes about her. There are some things that I think if it's getting personal and, and or even sexual or anything like that, then yes, they need to be blocked. They need to be, their comments need to be deleted. But if it's just uh, jokes that's coming on where people been joking on Jimmy about his weight, uh, the way he looks, his car, I mean, you can go on and on and things that have been said, things been said about Jimmy. Everyone always go after freaking Kid Smooth and his gaming skills and a whole bunch of other stuff. I mean, people have like pictures of him, memes about him. And then same thing with uh, Bun. Uh, people go at Bun all the time. Um, but I just think that when you're on a podcast, when it's mostly dominated by men, if you don't have that, if you don't have that like a uh, backbone to just take some jokes and then dish some jokes and be funny about it and not try to be just personal and attack other people because they're just having jokes and saying you can't use certain words like bitch or other things like that and you get you get mad about that it just uh, drives down the morale of the podcast. And I just don't, I mean, when she was on AGS, it was, um, you could tell, or any, any given Sunday, you could tell that that changed everything around. The heartache wasn't going to change. It, it, that changed the dynamic of that. And then, um, but yeah, and then that other, I don't even remember what that other uh, podcast they did after with, with Drew. But yeah, it was different on that too. So, yeah, I, I just don't think she's a good fit for Weapon Well Podcast. I honestly stopped watching a couple of episodes because she was on there and I saw that comments were being deleted. And I'm glad Jimmy said something about that uh, on his, after he uh, left. But, yeah, that's, I just don't understand why, um, what, BG sees and saying that she's a good fit. Maybe he sees something I don't. Uh, I don't have as big of a podcast as he had. I never, never had a biggest podcast like him. So maybe he sees something I don't. But it's no personal shade to her. I think, I think she's uh, cool, and I just think that podcast is not for her. I think streaming is definitely for her. Actually, ended up hitting me up to apologize and I'm the only person I've known her to apologize to so I fell back on the mocha slander I didn't mention mocha at all I don't be saying nothing about mocha but hey man for the, for the point of the video we gotta cover this so mocha definitely brought weapon world down in a way that BG thinks she fits in but she doesn't and he thinks like, oh, she be roasting, she be cooking, that's what we do. Like, why don't y'all fuck with it? Like, what's wrong with y'all? Like, whatever, whatever. But it's not the same. Mocha, yeah, it's definitely not knows, the same. Like, when Mocha gets triggered, it's not funny. She just comes off as like hella defensive, hella yep. sensitive, like, and also. And that's and I agree with that. Like, it just it does come off very negative, and it, it's not the same joke it's not in a joking manner it's like oh i'm just gonna come personally you joke on me i'm just gonna come straight for the juggler and and bun does that sometimes too if people don't remember bun will go very personal if he feels like he's getting joked on too much and so it's just not her bun does it too i i think people because bun has been there uh, for a while, maybe I, don't, I can't remember if he was a, the very first episode. I, I, I'm pretty sure he was, but Bun has been there and 
he he dishes out just as much as the other person and sometimes he does go overboard but at the end of the day he he'll come back and and take more more punches whereas you tell one with her and she just keeps it personal gets her feelings and it just take it just changes the dynamic because when you see comments just being deleted it, it just like like what can you, you have to like all right what what am i allowed to say what am i not allowed to say so she be making a hell of dad jokes which don't hit and don't land like she'd be like i don't know someone in the comments would be like shut up mocha and she'd be like your dad wasn't telling me to shut up when I was right in his face and sucking his dick. It's like, wait, what, huh? That's <laughs> oh, not even... I don't even know what she said. still that. got it like that, but I might need to dap homie up when I see him. Like, oh. <laughs> like, the dad jokes don't hit like the mom jokes do. That so, is true. I don't know. I just don't think she fits in well. Like, people didn't have these issues with words, so I don't know why BG thinks it's like a women thing. And also, I just don't feel like she has much when it comes to, like, the gaming topics. You don't be in them trenches being game. Like, I don't know. I don't yeah, know. yeah, she don't be I just the, don't feel like she's a good friend. Uh, not any Nordic games. On to the next point. I don't, I don't even know why we here, my niggas. I'm gonna be real with you, Jack. We should just we should just take a vacation. Because everybody else yeah, took a yeah. vacation. Why we here, dog? Laziness. It's dead as one of the biggest downfalls of Weapon World. I don't know if you guys remember, Weapon World used to have webcams. Hardy was the only one that didn't have, like, a webcam. Mm -hmm. Jimmy was on, no, maybe not Jimmy, but BG, Jack, and Kids Move were all on webcams. Somewhere along the way, they stopped doing that. Also, when it comes to, like, uploading the podcast to Spotify, SoundCloud, I don't use those, but I've been told it takes weeks for a new episode, like... Yeah, that was another thing, is a lot of the episodes, because when I was on deployment and overseas, we couldn't... We couldn't get access to YouTube, so I look forward to like things going on Spotify because for some reason they still have Spotify still there. They still had um, Google still was was able to do that, and of course Patreon was still there. And not having those audio files, uh, I miss a, a, like quite a few episodes because. I couldn't look at YouTube, and I had to pretty much use what I had. So, yeah, I, I definitely understand that not having those episodes uploaded. Um, I mean, it even said something about PSP, uh, but they started getting better with getting audio files, especially for their Patreon. Nigga, the latest episode is like episode 150. They're on like episode 300, so... Like, it's down bad when it comes to laziness. BG, they be taking random holidays off, or or just in general, like, Jack got lazy for a point, BG's always been lazy, like I say, Kid Smooth, he doesn't show up on time, Bond doesn't show up on time, Bond used to be a good fit, honestly, I think Bond might be ruining the show at this point, like, maybe it'll be better now Mocha's gone, but he was just being weird around Mocha, and I agree with that. I think I don't think Bun is a bad fit for the show. I think when Mocha, like I said, he he's very awkward around black women. Man, when Mocha was on there, he was very he was simping a lot. And I seen some of the uh, stuff that she posted about him, and you know, on Twitter, what he was saying. And he's very very socially awkward around black women. He doesn't know how to talk to black women, doesn't know how to interact with black women. And you can tell because he, 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 it shows. And, but now that she's gone, I think things can get back to normal. And I hope it does get back to normal. But, yeah, he, it, was just, it was just different when she was around telling these weak ass stories like I don't know it's a little iffy like I don't know so laziness man the podcast doesn't get uploaded they don't use webcams they don't like there's a whole bunch of things like it's low effort sometimes niggas don't sh honestly I don't think they need webcams and we see it on PSP all the time so 
I don't think they need on their show. They don't need rough cameras. That's just my opinion. Go up. Like. <sighs> Alright, so aside from Coffee and Boy Band Bullies, Weapon World was one of the first podcasts in the community, or even in general, like podcasts weren't as popping as they were now. So they were one of the first to it. So when Press Start came around, it looked like Weapon was gonna have some friendly competition, right? They were gonna get inspired and they were gonna go back and forth improving, but all that happened was competition popped up, it took views away from Weapon World, Press Start came along. And they just made like, I don't know, Press Start's Patreon with Off The Record made Weapon World's Patreon with After Dark look like a whole finesse, a whole scam. You getting charged $6 a month for niggas to just kick it in the Discord, basically. For as long as they want, like, it's not guaranteed to be Kid Smooth or Bond, like, you might have Jack, BG, and like five Discord niggas in there versus Off The Record, which is only twice, only twice a week still, I mean, uh, twice a month. But that shit's still better. It's like a dollar instead. Like, and like I said, that that the value you get for PSP is a lot better than what you get for uh, Weapon Will. The problem is, I, I like I said, I think Weapon Will is just burnt out. I mean, they've been doing it the longest. They were one of the first with uh, BG, was a BGST. I don't remember what they. What was their name? I don't even know what their name is right now. But those X Files dude, um, and then you got the bribe and bullies. Uh, so they were one of the first and one of the most successful, and they've been doing it a lot of years. So at a point, the competition is going to come along, and they might do things a little better, a little cheaper, better value. And sometimes you have to look at that and, and look at yourself and like, hmm, maybe I should change some things on how we do do things to make it better and continue this uh, another uh how many years but like i said i'm not going to stop supporting weapon will i still think they're good i think they have their way of doing things psp has their way of doing things just at the moment psp is doing it a little better no hate no hate at all that weapon will pay trying to finesse so all that happened was Competition came either made them look bad or just took the viewership with them. So I don't know if they took the viewership. I don't think they took the viewership. Alright, so in conclusion, I still do watch Weapon World, but right now it's BG and Jack Move carrying that shit. And Blanjo a little bit when he's on there. Like they really are. The rest of the members, Jimmy, it. Mocha, Hardy, they aren't there anymore. And the thing with Blanju, I remember when Blanju left too. Blanju was like, "Yeah, I got a girlfriend. I'm out of here." And then he came back like a week later. I'm dead. Yeah, when I ain't gonna say what. Hey, happened. when Blanju was on there, it, it was a good but, fit too. Blanju yeah, was a good fit. It's, it's just even like, though he don't. It's, it's the quality drugs. He don't it. it's give like, him out. It's like watching so, power, man. Like the first. So, so Blanju doesn't give him much Nintendo news as Blackmon probably likes, but. He at least adds to the conversation, you know, and he he got me, got me uh, look at some games right now because there are some games that I've never heard about, and I'm I'm not that big of a Nintendo guy, I, but I look for these smaller titles to sometimes play. So Blanjo is a good addition to the podcast. I really do believe that. Seasons are good, but at this point, you're just watching it because you've been watching it. Like you got to stick with it at this point. So. Weapon World is like power, press starts like snowfall, you know. <laughs> yeah, man. So, in conclusion, um, like I said, I think that Weapon World Podcast is still one of the, the best podcasts out there. Um, just that some minor changes probably got to be made. I still enjoy uh, the members. I don't think they, none of the members should go. Um, but I just think, uh, people are burnt out and when you do this, like, I don't think you truly understand when you do this every month. I mean, my podcast only lasts for like, what, 50 weeks and doing it every Sunday or Monday, if you want to, cause I was in Japan at the time. 
that that burnt me out and the fact that they're doing this for like how many episodes maybe over 300 episodes that's a lot and you do get burnt out so i under i fully understand uh where they coming from but if you guys like the video uh, please like subscribe uh hit the notification button i may be trying to do this a lot more uh to see gotta get a haircut um in, in school at the moment um which um getting ready for this transition about to retire from the navy um next next year so i'm looking forward to that but if there's any other content any comments you want to have about the video just let me know and i check y'all out later all right peace